एंड वेलकम टू पार्ट थर्टीन ऑफ एस थ्री सर्विस प्ले लिस्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वॉट इज एम एफ ए डिलीट एंड वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू परफॉर्म अ हैंड ऑन ऑन इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो नाउ लेट्स टेक सम इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट एम एफ ए डिलीट सो इफ वी एनेबल एम एफ ए डिलीट इन टू आर बकेट सो इट विल प्रिवेंट अस फ्रॉम एक्सीडेंटल डिलीशन ऑफ आर बकेट एंड विल ऑल्सो एड अ सिक्योरिटी लेयर इन टू आर बकेट Multi factor authentication is an authentication method that requires the user to provide two or more verification factors to gain access to a resource such as application online account or a VPN to use MFA delete you have to first of all enable the bucket versioning and only the bucket owner can enable or disable the MFA delete so your to enable or disable the MFA delete the owner can only do that option and to perform mfa delete you need to first of all enable your bucket versioning this is very important so now let's move on to the hands on and enable and disable the mfa delete into our buckets so now let's take the demo of mfa delete so for that first of all we need to create a bucket so click on the create bucket option and name the bucket as s3 mfa delete and my name all the other configurations we are going to take it as default only now let's create the bucket the bucket is created successfully now let's view the details let's open the bucket let's go to the properties part and let's go to the bucket versioning option edit it so here we are able to see the mfa delete option though we are not able to enable and dis disable the mfa delete through the console so we have to use aws cli to enable and disable the mfa delete so first of all for that you need to go to your security credentials part okay uh, let me open this in a new tab let's wait click on the security credentials part and open it into a new tab okay so here you will be able to see all the mfa virtual device type if you have not created a virtual device for your multi factor authentication then you have to create one for me i have already created it so i am not creating that but after that you need to also create access keys let's create a access key so click on the create access key access keys are very confidential never ever provide your access key to anybody okay after uh, doing this demo i will delete the access key but you don't provide your access key to anybody click on create uh, sorry click on the acknowledgement and click on create access key so our access key is successfully created now let's open a notepad file and copy and paste our access key and secret key here so first of all let's copy the access key and the secret key you can also download it but at this point i am copy and pasting it okay so i have done it now we will also download the file let's say download dot csv file if we forget this or we lose this file then the root key file will help us now let's create on done okay so we have successfully created our access keys here we are able to see the access key which we have created so now let's enable and disable our mfa delete so first of all for that we need to go to our visual studio let's open a new terminal first of all we need to create a profile in our aws so copy this command and let me paste it into my terminal we are going to use aws cli to enable and and disable the mfa delete so paste this command here and let me change the name so here i am uh, creating a profile which is root mfa delete demo akruti 18 so let's hit the command and our profile will be created let's wait we we'll have to provide access key and secret key here it will ask after some time okay so it is asking to provide a secret key here so 
sorry it is access key so let's copy our access key and paste it here let's hit enter and provide the secret access key and our region is us east 1 and for default our put format will go by default only just give enter and our aws profile is successfully created now so let's check it that it is created properly or not so we are going to list our all buckets from our account so let's give the command aws s3 ls means list all the s3 buckets from this profile let's hit, uh, hit enter okay so here we are able to see our all buckets which we have created till now right we are also able to see the mfa delete bucket okay so now let's enable and disable our mfa delete so we just have one command to do that so let's copy this command and i'll edit the command with you so copy and let's paste the command here okay so this is the command so now first of all we need to provide our bucket name let's go to the bucket here is the bucket and now here we need to provide our bucket name so delete this and copy our bucket name from here and paste it here okay so we have pasted our bucket name here then we have the versioning configuration status is equal to enabled and as we want to enable our mfa delete so here in this part in mfa delete part we have to give the keyword enabled then in the MFA part, we have to provide our ARN of our virtual device. So to get the ARN of our MFA, we need to go to our AWS console. And in the MFA part, you will be able to see your ARN of your virtual device type. So copy that ARN and paste it into the command. So for me, it is same, but I am again pasting the command for the safety purpose. Then we have to change our profile name as we have given the name as root mfa delete demo akruti 18 so let's provide 18 here and here in the code part which is the authenticator code we have to give your code of our mfa device which is generated so for me it is 48406696 so now let's hit the command and let's enable our mfa delete so let's wait okay so we have not got any error here so for us mfa delete is successfully enabled so now let's go to our aws console and check it is enabled or not so now let's refresh this page and you will be able to see the enabled mfa delete here okay so yes we are able to see that our mfa delete is successfully enabled so now let's again disable the mfa delete let's go to our visual studio so after coming to the visual studio we have to now disable our mfa delete let's bring the command of the enable mfa delete okay so here we just have to change the keyword from enabled to disabled remember the keyword is enabled and disabled so keep that in mind and do it accordingly here the AR would be same and here just we have to change our authentication code because the authentication code changes every 10 seconds so for me now it is 432459 let's hit the command and let's wait till the MFA delete is disabled here now we have not got any error so the mfa delete is successfully disabled let's go to our aws console and check it let's again refresh our bucket so you can see here that the mfa delete is successfully disabled so this is the way you can enable and disable mfa delete so that's it for the video meeting you in the next video